All right, so admittedly, we started with some pretty lengthy problems, but that's just to get us refreshed on everything and how things relate. Uh, but moving forward, we're going to have some more conceptual-based questions coming up as well. The statement for this one reads, Two metal objects are embedded in a weakly conducting material of conductivity sigma. Show that the resistance between them is related to the capacitance of the arrangement by R equals epsilon naught over sigma times C. Part B says, Suppose you connected a battery between 1 and 2 and the charge and charge them up to a potential difference V0. If you then disconnect the battery, the charge will gra gradually leak off, as we expect. Show that V of T is equal to V0 e to the negative T over tau, and find the time constant tau in terms of epsilon naught and sigma. Alright, so let's draw it out. We have some weakly conducting material, sigma, and we see that we have 1 and 2 there. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do with this. All right, so for part A, the solution is that the current is equal to the integral of J with respect to the uh, surface area or the area element that it's crossing through. So we're going to say that the surface is enclosing a positively charged conductor. But then Ohm's law says that J is also equal to sigma E, and Gauss's law says that the integral E dot dA is equal to Q, epsilon, Q over epsilon naught. Again, we've seen this before in question one. So let's just go ahead and plug it all through, and we see that we just, again, apply Gauss's law, and we see that I is equal to sigma Q over epsilon naught. But recall that Q is equal to CV, and V is equal to IR. So if we sub in V into Q equation, we see that Q is equal to CIR. All right, fair enough. Plug Q into the current equation, and we see here that we get I equals sigma CIR over epsilon naught. Solving this for R, we see that the I's cancel. Pretty nice. And we are indeed left with epsilon naught over sigma C. Pretty cool. All right, so in part B then, since Q is equal to CV, which we just found out was equal to CIR, we know that we have the following separable equation. Uh, dq dt is equal to negative i. Again, we see, we've see seen this before. We've seen how it, exactly how it happened a couple questions ago. Um, so let's pass this through. We see that uh, v equal q over c, and we can compare the functions with the potential function that we just found, or that was given to us. All right, so let's do it. So v not equal negative t over tau. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and plug in q not over c, and we see we get the same thing left and right. All right, let's go ahead and keep simplifying it down. And we see that we are left with V naught E to the T over tau is equal to V naught E to the negative T over RC. Okay, so this tells us that the time constant is RC. And if we sub in for what uh, R was, we see that the C's cancel and we're just left with a time constant of epsilon naught over sigma. Pretty darn cool.